Dear viewers, this is a 2019 Kawasaki Ninja 400. I've been riding this bike for the last couple of hours. I got this bike as I'm getting my bike um, serviced. I just got this as a loan bike from the showroom. Um, I just thought I'll share my thoughts about the bike and how I feel about it. Uh, first of all, there are three things I really like about the bike. Uh, number one is handling. For a bike this size uh, and this at this price range, it's got really, really good handling. So that's one. Uh, second thing I really like is braking. So the ABS on this bike is superb. Um, it doesn't have IMU or cornering ABS, but the ABS it has is good enough. And as you can see, it's got floating front disc as well. Uh, my BMW has ABS as well, but that's few generations behind it. And you can really tell when the ABS activates, when, whereas in this one, it's, it's a seamless process. Um, the third thing I really like about the bike is its clutch. So it's got a slipper clutch. Uh, the advantage of that is obviously you can downshift at much higher speed without locking the rear wheels, which is great. What I don't like about the bike is number one, its power characteristics. So it's got around 38 newton meters of torque and 40 horsepower. Now, 40 horsepower is not bad, but the problem is it comes at around 10,000 RPM. So I managed to reach around 96, 97, 97 kilometers an hour at 10,000 RPM, and, and at that speed, I was really enjoying the bike. Um, and I was in second gear, so the bike was in power band. But the problem is that the power comes too late to enjoy on the road. If it's a cheap drag bike, that's good enough. But um, on the road, it's kind of hard to enjoy. I'll turn the ignition on. As you can see, that's the engine check light, ABS light. That's the neutral sign. It's got a gear indicator, which is great. A clock uh, shows the range, uh, but only when you, once you get going. Uh, you can also change that to what the fuel average you're getting. I'm getting 22 km per liter. Um, the engine temperature and the fuel um, fuel indicator. It also has two crit meters as well, which is great. I'll start the bike up. Um, typical inline to parallel train um, engine sound. But once you rev it up, uh, I, I kind of like the sound at higher RPM. So the bike really opens up after around 9000 RPM, but before that it sort of lacks power and torque. And as you can see it's a blank hole here, uh, not a hole, sorry, a blank uh, fob here. Uh, you can install um, USB from the showroom if you want. The suspensions are not adjustable, but that's something you won't expect uh, from a bike at this price, price range. Uh, you don't have compression or rebound damping. In the rear, you only get a preload, no compression or rebound either. Uh, all the lights are LED, which is great. So LED gives really good uh, lighting at night and also it's easy on the battery. And the indicators are integrated to the fairing, which I like as well. Overall, if you're a new rider, um, I think it's a great bike to start. You won't outgrow it quickly because you get so much power at higher RPM. Once you, get, once you learn to enjoy the power band, you would be able to push the bike pretty hard. However, if you're an experienced rider, I would suggest, and it's just my personal opinion, uh, I would suggest you get a 650. That's a better bike to start on. Uh, that's a better bike to get if you have, if you have been riding for a while. Uh, other than that, it's, it's a good package for the price. Personally, will I buy it? No, it's just I've been riding for a long time, time and I'm used to much bigger and more powerful bikes. So I personally won't be getting it. But for a new rider, it's, it's a good package. Thank you very much.